So the Yale Ruler Program is something that we implement at Covina Valley Unified School District and it allows us to teach students how to identify their moods, regulate their emotions. Um, some of the ruler tools that we use in class are the charters, the mood meter. The charter and the mood meter have really helped students understand how they want to feel at school um, and also just recognizing how they feel in each moment and how those feelings can impact in their classes or their interactions with their peers or teachers or parents. The Yale Ruler training at Covina Valley has made me a better teacher by showing me how to acknowledge my students' emotions. I have a better connection with my students because this is a safe place to be in. I have learned that all emotions are valid and important. So students cannot learn if they don't feel like they are in a safe and caring environment, which is what our district aims to be. I have seen growth in my students' emotional intelligence I think that, you know, students being able to identify their emotions and how they're feeling and really building that emotional vocabulary has gone a long way in helping students advocate for themselves and their own education. A specific example is a student who had a lot of fear around speaking with teachers um, and through identifying the why and how they were feeling, they were able to choose the time when their emotions were in the best place. They were in the mood meter in a specific location where having those conversations was less fearful and it was able to help them feel successful. Well, in elementary school, they have one or two teachers but when they come to middle school, they have maybe four to seven different teachers, which is a really hard transition because they have to get used to seven different classroom roles, seven different personalities. By learning how to regulate their emotions at an early age, they'll be able to prepare for a new environment because they'll be able to communicate better with their teachers, with their peers, and they'll be able to focus on their learning. When we start seeing the bulk of our students coming to us with that social emotional intelligence, I think what we're looking at is students who are are regulated in the right ways and are able to advocate for themselves and their education and I think it is going to be a beautiful world and a question of can we as educators keep pace with them can we figure out how to regulate our emotions as well and be as quick as the students are